How's it going, everybody? Got another tobacco review today, and uh, this is an interesting one. Um, so tobacco has been around, uh, or blend's been around for a really long time, and uh, like a hundred years or more, they've been uh, this tobacco has been produced. Um, who knows if there's, you know, what kind of changes have taken place over the last hundred years, but it's still being produced. And, uh, until recently, I don't think I've ever smoked it. And I smoked through this tin pretty quick, for, at least for me. I usually have, you know, six, eight tins going at one time. So if I get through like a, a tin and few weeks or so <clears throat> it's pretty good for me um, I picked this up at a local shop who um, they've got the, the owner is part of a uh, he's got a, like a distributor or something like that for tobacco and he has a lot of um, they have a lot of McBaron blends or you know McBaron produced blends and uh, Consequentially, they have a lot of actually aged tobacco that they've just had sitting in warehouses or shops or storage or wherever. So this tin, <clears throat> I bought brand new from the shop store, but um, it, it, uh, it's from 2013, April 2013 was when this tin was produced. They actually put the date on the tins of these. And tobacco, it's Capstan Blue, ready rubbed. So this isn't the flake version. Yeah, I'm smoking in my little Savinelli bent pot. So um, it's a good little pipe. This is, I've smoked nothing but Virginia's out of this pipe since I've uh, owned it. And I remember I bought this pipe back in, I want to say 2008, maybe, somewhere around there, 2008 or nine. It's maybe my like, uh, I don't know, six or eighth pipe I ever bought. I have two, I only have two seven dollars. They're both good smokers. I don't, I've never really had a big complaint about seven Ellie. The, my only real complaint is the stem work isn't quite as nice as some other pipes. Um, but Capstan Blue Ready Rubbed. <clears throat> tin, the tin note, and after, you know, you know me, I like, to, I like to smoke a lot of the tobacco or almost all of it before I give a review most of the time. There's just basically dust in here. There's not even enough for a quarter of a bowl. But the tin note hasn't changed much. It's um, tangy, tangy uh, barnyard, tangy hay, you know, like fresh cut hay. But like it has a sour, sweet kind of tanginess to it. And uh, just a little bit of like a apricot or some sort of a fruit. Uh, note. I'm gonna hold this up to the camera so you can see what I got. You probably can't see it because it all fell down. But that's basically what I got going left. And you can see the bottom of the the paper. You can hopefully see the bottom of the paper there is kind of yellow. It's yellowed, you know, that that's a good sign. I know that I have opened a tin too early if the paper is uh, totally white and pristine and perfect. Um, that's a good sign of you're getting good aging processes if the paper starts to yellow or at least turn off white so now this tin when I bought it I basically brought it home and opened it up right away because I already had what eight years of age on it so straight Virginia tobacco um, nothing else in it, it there supposedly is some sort of a additive, some sort of a topping, something. I don't know what, 
um, might just be like some sort of sweetness or sweet essence or something. Um, but it's, to me, I haven't been able to really detect anything uh, through smoking it of any added flavoring. I don't smoke a lot of stray Virginias. Um, it could mainly because it's difficult for me to find one that's uh, interesting enough for me to, to stay with. I do like this Capstan Blue Ready Rubbed. I actually like it a lot. I would, I really want to try. Now I'm very curious about the Capstan Flake to see the difference in the Flake versus the Ready Rubbed. I've never tried the Flake. I've never tried the Capstan Gold. Never tried any of it. The difficult bit is, um, I don't think that they sell the flake at the place where I got this. I might have to go back and ask them if they've got the flake somewhere because I would like to get something that's of similar vintage or similar age as the Ready Rub, you know, eight, nine years old, something like that, to try, see where, see what the difference is. Um, otherwise, I might just have to buy some tins of the flake and try one kind of young and maybe put the rest away. You get a lot of the same notes from the tin note from smelling it that you get in the smoke. Uh, that sort of tangy grassiness, definitely a little bit of sweetness, not a lot, it's not overly sweet. A little bit of that fruit, that apricot, apricot, apricot sort of, or other sort of like dark fruit, plumminess. Uh, As a straight Virginia goes for someone that, that, that um, like something with a little bit of Perique or a little bit of this or that. I really like uh, this Capstan Blue Ready Rubbed. It doesn't bite me at all. Uh, it burns well, um, burns evenly, doesn't burn hot. Uh, the smoking characteristics to me are, are <clears throat> really good. Definitely toasty too. There's some parts in there. I've seen some stuff where people say bready. I don't get the bready as much, but definitely like a little bit of like a toasty, like a nutty toasty flavor every once in a while. Right before I started the video, I was getting a lot of that Brit, like nutty toasty flavors. Um, It's been a long time since I smoked Orly Golden Slice. I've smoked a few tins of it a long time ago. Um, wasn't the biggest fan uh, just because I couldn't stay interested for very long. I did not have that problem with the Capstan Blue Ready Rubbed. It was, to me, it stays interesting. It's got good balance of all those things that you want. You want a, a good Virginia, straight Virginia tobacco to have. It's got that grassy hay quality. It's got that... Uh, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of dark fruit. Um, it's got uh, that little bit of sort of uh, nutty toastiness. And to me, as straight Virginias go, this is, this is very good. This is one of the better straight Virginias I think I've had. I can't think of off the top of my head. I'm sure, I'm sure if I look back into my stuff, I'd find something, but I can't think if you were to say, uh, you know, pick a straight Virginia, you, you would be okay smoking as a straight Virginia the rest of your life. I'd have a hard time, I think, calling out something ahead of Capstan Blue. Um, you know, what else is surprising about it is, 
before I started the video, I looked. I was looking at tobacco reviews just to see, you know, topping, things like that. I try to avoid uh, looking at the actual reviews because I don't want other people's opinions to, you know, dictate my own opinions. But what I did see is that this this stuff only has like two and a half stars on tobacco reviews, which is still pretty good. I mean, it's respectable, but I was actually surprised. I was thinking that it would be much higher, uh, you know, at least three to three to three and a half stars somewhere in there. It's like, yeah, it's like two and a half or 2.7 or something. Um, Like I said, that's very surprising to me. Most straight Virginias, to to me, they get steamy, they get hot, they 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 are more one dimensional than than I like. Um, this one doesn't really get steamy, doesn't really get hot. It's not one dimensional. It's it's very good. I, I'm gonna have to. What I'm gonna have to do also is probably buy a couple more tins of uh, golden sliced, unless I have. I don't think I have any old tins of still in my little cellar. But I'll have to try to get that because I know it's, you know, or the golden slice is kind of like everyone's holy grail, right? With, you know, with a straight Virginia um, or maybe full Virginia flake, something like that. I know there's, th I'm sure there's, I know there's more out there that I'm not, that I'm forgetting, but um, I, I like this capstan more than what I remember liking or the golden sliced, but it's been quite some time. So I'm going to have to revisit or the golden sliced and see if maybe my tastes have changed a little bit and I'm moving back more into the straight Virginia, uh, realm. But yeah, this is very good. A lot of times with straight Virginia's, like I said, it's, it, it's hard to keep me interested, uh, throughout the whole tin. But with this, I mean, that's that's my biggest marker is uh, it never lost my interest through the whole ten. Um, so that's a good marker for me if if you know in terms of how I'm going to you know rate or place a tobacco in my sort of hierarchy of of level system. And if it keeps my interest through a whole fifty gram or a two ounce ten, uh, generally it's going to place. It's going to be pretty high up there. It's going to, it means I like it, at least. Um, yeah. Definitely, definitely a little sour not in a bad way sour not off-putting sour but just sort of that tangy virginia you do, uh, you definitely get that with that little bit of sweetness and that little bit of dark complexity i think it's really good stuff Every once in a while too, you know, with a lot of tobacco, especially with predominantly Virginia tobaccos, you get that sort of <clears throat> clovey, sort of uh, all spice, you know, that that uh, uh, sort of more like an incense-like spice note. And uh, with capstan, you get that as well. Maybe not as much as some others, but like, just after that last relight, I was getting that more, and that—that's what I'm talking about. Just that holds my interest. You know, I'm getting a lot of tangy, sort of sweet, grassy notes, and then all of a sudden, boom, like toasty nuttiness. A few minutes ago, and then let it, you know, go, you know, sort of simmer down and relight it, and it's, you know, boom, cloves. It's like it—it it just that it keeps changing throughout the bowl, and that keeps my interest. I, I really like that. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to try 
the flake. I wanted to see if I can get a get my hands on a couple tins of the flake. Uh, so in terms of my ranking system, I'm gonna say I like it. I don't think I I don't think I love it, um, but I think I like it. You know, I I'm definitely like I said I'm definitely gonna buy some of the flake. Um, I'll probably buy a couple more tins of the Ready Rub. I see this being one of those things where I, I always kind of have two or three tins around. You know, maybe once a year or once every couple years I'll open a tin and then I'll buy one or two to replace it. And I see that kind of being when I want, um, you know, just a good straight Virginia. I, I definitely see myself having some around. Definitely want to try the flake and see. I, I don't think I want to have ready rubbed and flake around. I think I'd want to just stick with one. I'd probably pick which one I like the best, and uh, and probably just do that. You know, buy two tens, three tens, five tens, whatever it is, uh, here and there. Uh, other than that, short little channel update. Um, I've got one package here. It came on Friday. I'm just. I know what's in it. I'm just holding on to it. Um, because I got another package coming probably on, I think it's supposed to be here on Tuesday, which is like a couple days. This is Sunday night. So uh, I'll do a little uh, do a little package opening. The, uh, the package is supposed to come on Tuesday. Supposed to have my first three uh, codger blends in it. So likely what I'm going to try to do is I'll do a little box opening, package opening. We'll talk about that. And then... Um, what I might do is if I can, what I, what I think I might do is I'm going to have people put uh, in the comments below uh, what, uh, what Codger Blend I should review first in my Codger Blend review series. So uh, be ready for that. Don't put it in the comments in this video. Uh, you don't have to. You can comment down below if you want to talk about Capstan Blue Ready Rubbed. Appreciate that. Uh, and the next one on when I do my package opening, uh, be ready with your comments to tell me uh, which Codger Blend I should review first. <clears throat> and if it works and I get enough, you know, I get enough comments, people saying this or that, um, I'd like to do that for, you know, basically the rest of the series because I think it's a good way to uh, engage with, uh, with the viewers, you know, with you guys out there. So... Uh, I'm excited about I'm sad about that I'm looking for that so but like I said I will need people to uh, to comment on that video when it comes out put it down below what what uh, Codger Blend I should review first and uh, likely I'll probably smoke it for at least a week if not two or three weeks before I do a review so there'll be plenty of time to comment it's not gonna be like comment in the next 24 hours and no it will be fine um, And I'll appreciate that engagement and uh, and everything. That'll be good. So, so, Capstan Blue Ready Rub. I like it. I'm gonna try the flake. See how I like the flake. Uh, another video coming probably another two or three days when I get that other package. And uh, until then. Everyone, take care of yourselves, have fun, enjoy the cool weather. Adios.